With me now are some of the cast members from EWP's production of Assassins. We had to halt production on the eve of previews due to the pandemic. We do hope to bring the show back, but like so many things currently, there are still a lot of unknowns. What I did want to do is talk with some of this company, this extraordinary company, about their experiences on the show. So let's start with the one and only Getty Watanabe, who oh. played Charlie Gateau. Oh. Um, Getty, you have quite the Sondheim journey. You were in the original Broadway production of Pacific Overtures. You I were was younger then. What do you like about doing Sondheim musicals or what has that experience been like? It's been now, what, almost four decades that you've been in, you know, from Pacific Overtures to Assassins? I, I think uh, it's the challenge, but also the fear of doing it right. I just dive into it and hopefully I come up with something. And I mean, with Gateau, it felt like you really connected to that character. I know you did a ton of I, research. Yeah, no, he was totally insane, but he kind of, you know, the predicament of our country, it made sense that I played somebody like him because he kind of reminds me of somebody in the White House. Uh, it was it was exciting for me because it was it was something that I never played before. Actually, I had, I've never played somebody insane before, which I, I really wanted to do, and I didn't know if I could pull it off. Nice. And and EWP giving me the the opportunity to do it. Um, Chris, you played Samuel Bick, and you've been auditioning for East West Players shows for how many years now? This was your fourteenth audition, I know, but how many years has it been? Technically, I auditioned the first time, it would have been 21 years ago. Mm. <laughs> Astasia, were you born yet? <laughs> um, but yes, I, I can vote. And here's a funny story. The first show I picked that I was going to audition for, I saw um, they were opening their season, East West Play season, uh, with um, Steel Magnolia. So I'm like, oh, I'll audition to be one of the husbands. Forgetting that the stage version only has six women in it. So I'm like, <laughs> oops. <laughs> I guess I'll wait for the one after that. So um, I've just been coming back, coming back, and um, hoping that there would be a fit eventually, and Assassin's was it. The, this cast, um, the, the way that you and your whole production team and East West Coast Company treated all of us was amazing. It was better than I could have hoped for. And it was, I think, worth the wait in terms of the fit. Uh, playing Samuel Bick was just, I didn't know how, it was such a good fit. I haven't worked with a cast before that was so well cast. The entire cast is so suited for their roles, even though we're all of color. But um, it was better than I expected it to be. It was better. Your Samuel Bick was, was something. He both was very, very funny and angry, and then he had an edge. Um, and just, he was so, you were so compelling to watch on stage. Um, Andrea, we, um, you are in a similar situation. You've done a lot of theater, a lot of musical theater. Um, like Chris, you work a lot, um, but you hadn't been in an East West Players show before. Um, I auditioned, auditioned, and then like Chris said, I'm. it was so worth the wait. Like this, I felt like this was absolutely meant to be my East West Players debut. Um, not just for the sole purpose of like, I've had, I had an incredible time doing this show and had so many, and it was so challenging in the sense that I played so many different roles in the ensemble, but also just being surrounded by such incredible performers of color. It was truly special. Um, and you were so heartbreaking in that 11th hour number, if you will. <laughs> um, and we have our three A's. We have Estancia, Eric, and Adam. Eric with an A, and Adam. <laughs> So, um, Asnasi, you were, this is kind of like you're a professional debut. You, you're now getting equity EMC points um, because of the show and your <laughs> the, the experience itself and working for EWP was, it was I mean, like, it was something I thought about often beforehand and strived for and then to finally get the call and get the opportunity and then find out who I was going to share the opportunity with. That was the dream come true of it all. And it, it you know, just getting to learn from them every day and be inspired by them every single day and just see how generous they were. Um, yeah, I can't wait to be back together. I really can't, um, but all in all, yeah, it was just. I agree. I mean, we always, we have so many folks like Getty and Joan who have you know been doing this for decades, but they're so generous and warm. Yeah. And it's so great to watch their process um, and then also to, you know, 
be inspired by them in the room. So don't tell Getty I said that. Don't tell him I Eric. Process. Hey! Hey! What's it like to have a porn stash? What's <laughs> about what that was? Oh, How did that help great. you find your character? During all my Zoom meetings, everybody really loves it. <laughs> my Zoom stash. Um, it's great. Uh, it's good to still have it, saving it up. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's good. And it's good to see everybody. It's a. Uh, you know, such a great experience it was. I mean, it feels like like a dream now almost, but, um, you know, being at the theater, you know, backstage with everybody during this production has just, was so fun. Once we got in it, I was like, oh, this is hard, right? I think it was like, <laughs> here's a song and I've, you know, uh, Canon, it was my first time working on a Sunday musical, I think many of you also. And uh, as we got into it, you know, it is, it is smart, but the it is, you know, challenging, particularly this one, a very challenging piece. The piece is not easy, but so fun to sing yeah. too. Like just his musicianship and, and composing, it, it's just masterful and, and, yeah. and it just takes you. Like I step into that number and while very dark, um, the music is so powerful that it just transports you, you know. Um, uh. And Adam, <laughs> last but not least, you um, also were making your East West Players debut, but you've been doing musical theater for a long time. You left the Miss Saigon National Tour to join us yeah. to play the Balladeer and Lee Harvey Oswald. Particularly, you had two roles that were very different to shape, right? Particularly the yeah. Balladeer. The piece itself is just so wonderful. The music, the, the script, the story, and I just never thought that it would be something that any of us would get to do. As a person who is not, you know, Caucasian, um, could come in and, and play these roles, especially Lee Harvey Oswald, you know, who is such a controversial uh, character, uh, uh, figure in, in our history. What I really loved about the experience working with you, Snehal, is just kind of discovering it together. You know, we we kind of had an idea of, of what we were telling, but I think the reciprocal energy between you and I, as well as the rest of the cast and what everyone kind of brought to the table uh, helped lead uh, what ended up being the, the product that we kind of created. You know, I, I, I really appreciated uh, feeling like I was part of the community. I actually um, had done other Sondheim shows. As Adam was saying that, I realized why everything um, exceeded my expectations finally getting to work with East West Players. In those shows, I was the only actor of color. I've had a great theater career because of being cast against type. I'm usually the only Asian or actor of color in the entire cast. So getting to work with this amazing cast with all their energy, but also bringing that we're all actors of color to a Sondheim piece that is supposed to be all white because historically we see the pictures, those characters are all white. Getting an opportunity to play these roles, getting to work with this amazing supportive cast and that that this thing brought it all together. It was just, it was amazing. It was, it was, it was downright spiritual and I'm not that spiritual, but for me, this was very spiritual. I think I'm a little biased, but I thought our production was truly something very special. It was timely, it was subversive, it was wickedly funny. Why don't we take a little bit of a look at a, a sneak peek at a song from our production? Uh -huh. um, and I want to thank you all for joining us. <laughs>